A fifth grader's action saves the lives of 30 school kids. Kids' daily trip to the school is a routine that gets repeated on a regular basis, down to the smallest detail. It's always the same old yellow bus, the same grumpy driver, the same kids, and the same pickup and drop off times. And having to go through the same ritual five days a week, some kids immediately detect any changes that disrupt the pattern, which is the case of our story's hero. Troy, a fifth grader whose keen eye helps save the lives of 30 school kids. But before we start today's story, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Troy learned to watch out for any abnormalities as he takes care of his eight siblings, and he was having a normal school day until things started taking an unusual course on his way back home. Troy and 30 other kids ranging from kindergarten to fifth grade took their usual 1430 bus to be dropped off at their homes in California. Being a regular passenger of the same bus, Troy was hit by a strong smell hanging in the air upon stepping onto the bus. It was so pungent, Troy couldn't help it but try to know its source. And it was the one behind the wheel who reeked of this unusual odor. Already alarmed by the unusual stench, Troy noticed that their usual driver was absent that day. Instead of the man who used to drive their school bus, on that day there was an old woman he's never seen before in the driver's seat. And that was enough to ring the alarm bells for Troy. As if all of this wasn't alarming enough, the old woman drove the bus at an unusually high speed, terrifying the little kids who are used to a more peaceful journey back home. As Troy was trying to process all that was happening, the bus was slightly going off course as the driver seemed unable to keep it in a straight line. Then suddenly she slammed on the brakes so hard several kids banged their heads against the front seats and some of them burst into tears. At that moment, the other kids started feeling the danger that Troy sensed upon stepping onto the bus. The typical peaceful bus atmosphere was replaced by utter fear as some kids were crying, while others were doing their best trying not to be thrown off their seats, as the woman kept on driving the bus recklessly. Troy sat there watching the other kids, helplessly stuck in that hazardous situation, and was wondering what he could do to help them out of it. As the lady dropped one child off at his stop, then drove past the following two stops missing them both the other driver never misses any stops let alone two then to add to all of that the lady took an unusual turn toward the highway and Troy confirmed that there was something so off about the woman behind the wheel that his guts feeling told him that they were being kidnapped despite his friends objections they would all be back home soon and there was nothing to really worry about Troy just knew that all those signs couldn't be just ignored and if he didn't act soon, the lives of all the kids in the bus would be in real danger. Being told by his mother what to do in similar situations, Troy took his school bag, fished out his phone, then dialed 911 and called the police. Troy described the situation he and the other kids were in and provided the police with all the necessary information about the bus, the driver, and the road they were taking. The police cars were so quick in locating and catching up with the bus and forced the driver to pull over. Then they got all the kids out of the bus and safely accompanied them to their homes. The ensuing investigations proved Troy's guts feeling right, and the action that he took was truly heroic, as the lady was a substitute for the absent regular driver, and she was highly intoxicated on alcohol, and her general physical and mental state did not allow her to carry out tasks such as driving. She was sued and charged for DUI and child endangerment, and the bus company sacked her from the job. Troy was hailed as a hero who stepped forward when his friends needed him the most, and his proud mother was praised for raising such a responsible boy and for teaching him what to do in hazardous situations. What we can learn from Troy is that trusting our gut's feelings and taking the necessary actions when circumstances call for it can save lives. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and tell us what you think about it in the comment section below.